Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, or simply Guardians 3, stars Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, Vin Diesel, Bradley Cooper, and others. The Guardians must go on a dangerous mission to save Rocket. James Gunn wrote and directed the Guardians trilogy, The Suicide Squad, and The Guardians Holiday Special. He's running DC Studios now. His next film is Superman Legacy. My cousin Cam and I recently seen Peacemaker, which we really liked. I love the Guardians movies, which he recently seen for the first time. We watched them back to back. We seen Guardians 3 yesterday afternoon. I expected our show to be sparse, but no, it was packed. Guardians 3 is awesome. It's way better than Ant-Man 3. Yes, my review is spoiler free, so you're safe here. The acting is still great. Nobody phoned it in. Pratt is fantastic. Batista gives his best performance as Drax. Cooper gives his best performance as Rocket. He arguably steals the show. Will Poulter isn't around for long, but he's so good. Adam Warlock is likable, but he's a minor character. He shows up here and there to cause chaos, or in other words, to blow shit up. Adam is a villain or an anti-hero. Adam is a newborn, so he's a man-child, or you could say he's a dumbass. Marvel is known for quickly setting up characters for future projects. Adam is the latest character. I'm sure he will show up in the Nets Avengers movies. Again, Poulter is good, but I'm wondering, did he really have to suffer? He really worked out and starved himself. The High Evolutionary is the main villain. That's a weird title, isn't it? He's not from Earth, but wouldn't it be funny if he has a common name like Jack, Jake, or Chad? He's a mad scientist who creates hybrid creatures, so he created Rocket and he wants him back. He's cruel but ruthless like Kurt Russell's character Ego. Like Thanos, he's obsessed with improving the universe. This guy isn't a great villain, he's decent, but the actor is good. He worked with Gunn before on Peacemaker. Guardians 3 is really funny. These movies are crazy and goofy. They're edgy or somewhat edgy. I'm saying the Guardians movies are family friendly, but not too much. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Drax and Rocket are still really funny. Adam is a man child, which is okay. Like I said, he's a minor character, or you could say he's a glorified extra. This trilogy is fun but emotional. This is easily the darkest chapter. Rocket has a tragic origin story which concerns animal cruelty. Some young kids, if not a lot, will be scared, so parents should be cautious. Guardians 3 is a long movie, two and a half hours long. It's normally fast paced, but the first act is slow or leisurely. Adam is a minor character, so the movie wouldn't be much different if he were cut out. The action scenes are great. There's a crazy hallway fight. Maybe Gunn was influenced by Daredevil or Star Wars. The climax is sensory overload. Maybe some fans feel the whole movie is sensory overload. Yes, the visuals are great. Rocket is obviously digital, but you still believe in him. Overall, Guardians 3 is awesome. It's a great send-off for the team. Yes, it's the weakest of the trilogy like Creed 3. The acting is still great. Rocket arguably still the show. The villains are fine, they're better than Ronin. Guardians 3 is really funny, but it's the darkest chapter. These movies are family friendly, but not too much. There are two bonus scenes, but I only like the first one. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. My Twitter link is down below. Give me your thoughts on Guardians 3. It's likely Gunn's final Marvel film since he's running DC Studios now. Which is your favorite of the trilogy? Guardians is my favorite. I think Guardians 2 is a big favorite. I'm excited for Fast X, which comes out in two weeks. I'll see you guys later. Take care.